When I went to the window, um, I see him reclip his his gun, hop on the hood, and just start firing. You're watching the most shocking and informative LRJ TV news. Hello and welcome to LRJ TV. Once again, there is another dead body laying in the morgue because police officers, two officers, decided to stop two young black individuals and shoot the car 30 some times. In fact, the cop got up on top of the car, reloaded, and shot through the windshield. Only in America. Let's go. She watched the shooting and neither man posed a threat. When I went to the window, um, I see him reclip his, his gun, hop on the hood, and just start firing. His arms is out the window. My brother is slumped in the car already. That's right. One of the men had an airsoft pellet gun that police mistook for a handgun. They shot and killed a 23-year-old man, making this the city's seventh officer-involved shooting of the year, the fifth deadly one. I was asleep and them gunshots woke me up. More than 30 gunshots fired by two Vallejo police officers, leaving one man dead, sending another to the hospital. Bullet holes riddling this Ford Thunderbird on Pepper Drive. It's just right here. So, and that's just scary. My kids ain't never experienced nothing like this. The shooting happened around 4.30 a.m. when police patrolling that area spotted a parked car with two people inside. Officers flashed their spotlights. Uh, as they did this, the driver of the vehicle exited the car. Uh, both officers noticed that the, he had a handgun protruding from his waistband. Or at least what they thought was a handgun. Police say the driver crouched behind the door and spun around with the weapon in his hand. Officers opened fire. He put his hands up in the air. The officer stopped firing. And then he put his hands back down and kind of dove into the car towards the center console area. So they started shooting again and at one point got on the hood of the car and fired down into the roof. The driver, who friends identified as 23-year-old Mario Ramiro, died. The 21-year-old passenger was hit by shrapnel. A search of the vehicle found more than 50 pills of ecstasy and an airsoft pellet gun. There was never a handgun. This is the seventh officer-involved shooting in the city this year, sending friends of Ramiro protesting outside of the police department. They could shoot him in the arm, they could shoot him in the leg, you know. They ain't know how to kill everybody. Meanwhile, police officers say in that darkness, they had no way of knowing it was a replica gun and addressed the threat as potentially deadly. We just know that when he was, when officers approached him in an area that's known for gang activity at early morning hours, um, that he decided to get out of the car, reach for a handgun. And that's right. One of the men had an airsoft pellet gun that police mistook for a handgun. Reach for a handgun and, and turn around away from the officers and turn around away from the officers. Hell no. I'm LRJ. I told you before, if you're not subscribed to this channel, you're not in the loop on what's going to happen in America. Oh, yeah. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Why? Because you be glad you did. I love you all. Peace.